We'll start with just kind of one-handed in, in the middle. So I'm gonna just lay this out here. We're just working in front of that, okay? So we're gonna start by keeping them all short hops and then only do that forward move. And then we're gonna move around here. So we'll lengthen the hop. And then you can start doing some backwards moves. All right, offset yourself to the glove side. Do, do some forehand versions of it, yep. And then turn this angle just a little bit. Yep, right there. Sometimes you've been like a little shallow with the move so far this spring where you're like kind of like, like high early. Does that make sense? So like a little, keep the fingers down just like a hair longer. Yeah, just a hair longer. You like, you end up shutting down on your glove side a little early so far this spring. So what I like to do is like anytime you're, you're missing the kill spot, like over and over, like, okay, make the move a little slower, exaggerate the finish, right? And then start marching it back from slow back to like your game speed move. Nice. Feel the difference? Yeah, that's that, like just holding the line just slightly longer. Like if you imagine that there's a line in which the ball comes on, like on a short op, if you hold that line a little longer. All right, so let's, let's go. That's perfect right there. You just hold the line on the backhand uh, so much better than you do on the, the glove side. I, it, it's just something about how you make that move. I think for some guys, I think for some guys, it's like when you're right, right, like you're right-handed swinger and a, and a right-handed fielder. Yeah, you get like, you're like used to staying on plane and matching plane. And then this side, we're like, the other thing is I think people like naturally respect the backhand more. You're like, oh, this is a tougher play. It's not on my glove side. So I have to like, control the height and make the move through. All right, so now we're gonna control, move the hop a little bit. So we're gonna go, we're gonna back it up to like right here. And so it should lengthen that hop and now you can kind of go backwards a little bit. Does that make sense? So we're gonna get like the in-between. Kind of that in-between-ish and you can go super extend, like turn it into like that long short hop that you gotta really reach and you almost kind of fall over and have to put your hand out. Or like wait, 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 and then kind of let, turn it, lengthen it. Let's see what one looks like. Okay, so now that thing's rolling. So right now, it's a little like, you're presented in terms of forward, but not open. Does that make sense? So you're having to make like a two-piece move. So you're like here, and then you gotta go there, and then you gotta go there. So you're, you're still a little like here. So while I'm reading, I'm, when I'm in, I can be thumbs up, but once I move forward out in front of that bat, I gotta be showing the pocket, okay? That's it. Better. Little, little PC right there. But, but, like but if that's the worst, we're in business. But that one where like we're in that like close to the final hop and your fingers are still to the sky, if something bad happens, we're we're toast, dude. Okay, let's go to the forehand side. This is gonna expose it a ton. Right here, same thing. This is where, for me, your timing is the worst. All right, so tell me on time, yes or no. If I have the awareness to know when I'm on time on my own, then I can solve the problem. And like, for me, it's like where your flaw is. Like whenever you f screw up, right? Whenever you mess it up, what's your flaw later? Early. So when guys are perpetually late and that's the reason they're snatchy, they should miss on the early side, right? If guys who are perpetually early and they're stiff, they should kind of miss on the later side. You know what I mean? So for you, miss early, miss on the early side.
Eh, he's right. So try try this for me. Relax and then try to kind of find the range out here. Almost like how you know you you know exactly when you're gonna make your move in the swing. Find that spot out here in that last hop where you're gonna make your move. Okay. Tell me. Okay, but still a little fingers down, fingers up. Just one move, not two moves. There it is, that's it. One move, not two moves, there it is, yes. Now you tell me. Yep. There it is, now we found it. Yes, that's the one thing I love about you. Like when you find it, then you find it, then it's there. But you have to be disciplined enough that when we do this routine, you cannot let yourself do the late one. Because we're on our knees and it's like this, it's a little bit more predictable. You could get away with doing the late one. Do not let yourself, because then you're going to carry it into our fungal work. So I think with the forehand, like, yeah. what I find was the cue for me to be on time and shut fingers down is like, it's almost feeling like a flexion here. Okay. Like running through here. So that way, like if I get here, we know my fingers are going to be up. So if I go here and my wrist is like cocked, I'm going to have the fingers yeah. up. You're going to see like that. But those last 15 was like really forcing the fingers this way, but feeling like a flexion through here to get this way and present it. Like and that. I'm good with that, knowing that you miss in the other direction usually. So you're going to, you're not going to get stiff and relax, yeah. right? Because if you're like this, this is a really awkward way to feel it too, right? Yeah. Okay, let's. Like the timing aspect, I'm not sitting here waiting. It's like, you tell me if I find the time there. Okay, get here. Yeah, yeah. Early and early and flat is might as well be late, yeah. right? On time is the the moment in which your fingers are down and the ball is there, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. A couple more now that you found it. Yes, dude. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah! All right, we're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some short fungal. Yes or no? A little late, let's go, flex early. Yes or no? Okay, now I'm gonna short hop you. Good. Nice. Yes or no? Tough one too. Nice. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna hit these now. We're gonna go glove side a little bit from where you are. So just a little bit foot movement, same timing, yep. Set up like you're throwing a first, not to home. Yes. Yes. What do you got right there? Exactly. It's just you're so good at throwing to you with a low slot that if you improve that catch rate going that way, right, and you're never late with the glove, we're going to complete so many plays moving that direction. Early flex, let's go. Better, but still a little cuppy. 
That side you just do on time every single time. That's why I'm just staying to the other side right now. Two more. Let's finish strong with two or three good ones. Normal. Yes. And that's a bad hop. Right? That was a that was a really sketchy hop off that lip right there. A little better. A little better, but you could aim on the side of missing here. Missing early. One more. Nice. So this is why I wanted to do this to, with you today, right? You've made such huge strides, right? We, we love the throw on the run. We love the low slot throw, the backhand catches. If this timing is right, we can make every play right at above average rate. Would you agree? Yeah. So that's all. Today, when you do the work on the side, when we make our throws across, really police yourself. Don't make just catching it good enough, right? Like have that attention to detail to be like, all right, Every single time I'm going to catch it, it's going to be a kill spot and my glove's going to be on time. 